having zero time to do this while manufacturing i'm here sunday and this is uh, the current design i just quickly threw this together because i need this done today because tomorrow i'm gonna turn this into the welder guy and he's gonna have to weld this up so it's just some hex patterns and stuff it's all out of five millimeters aluminum i'm doing the warm-up as we speak there's gonna be quite a bit of uh, excess material there but i don't care because we don't have time and this interface plate there that's a thicker 15 or 20 i haven't decided quite yet uh, there's also a aluminum sheet on top of here with the uh, slots in to well you can't see them right now they're they're over there so that the welder can just tack those into place it's gonna be aluminum and that's gonna be fine because it's always all only going to be in contact with the hdf and on the bottom side let's see if i can show you this uh, there's gonna be these suction cups i got these 3d models from the distributor uh, and it's gonna be quite a sizable thing whoop kind of hard to control but anyway so it's gonna be big this is the 10 millimeter cast aluminum sheet that i'm gonna be putting on the vacuum table and cutting a new uh, vacuum grid into because it's gonna be pretty much a spacer so that the hdf you can see it's when i order it i order it a bit uh, wider so that it's gonna be easy for that tool to come in underneath there and lift all of it pushing it against the stop pins I've added like a million of these threaded M6 holes everywhere along these because I'm going to be having sensors and stuff somewhere along these. So I don't know where, so I'm going to put those holes everywhere. It's going to take a little bit longer. Let's see. And generate, then not only do you get a report for every stage, you get the summary of the total cutting time. This is going to take uh, well, about an hour and a half before this is done. Good. That looks pretty sick if you ask me. Ooh la la. Last made it add on. Oh that looks good. It's gonna be awesome. And I'm thinking roll 7035 for the color with black or gray details. Maybe both. Okay, it's been welded up. Looks good. It's gonna look even better once it's powder coated. And let me see if I can show you. I'm gonna do this with my elbow at the same time I'm recording, so. Oh, that's the wrong direction. If we go, that's also the wrong direction. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's doing it. Remember, there's going to be a 10 millimeter aluminum sheet on top. So it's not going to be quite this tight. But there's also going to be suction cups underneath there. And I'm not sure, but by now I would probably at least lower it 5-10 centimeters and tilt it up instead. But I need my second hand for that. Anyway, we're getting there. So I have ordered the suction cup and the ejector and whatnot. So ah, step one done. Man, that looks good. It's going to be amazing when a customer walks in sees everything and this thing just wailing in there doing its thing mmm that's so nice ooh la la super play senor